U.S. Well, today, July 1st, more than 200 new laws went into effect across Florida, ranging from immigration to permitless carry of firearms to who can use a bathroom. The laws have their fair share of supporters and opponents. News Channel 8's Stacey De Silva explains. Activists gathered in St. Petersburg to rally against several laws going into effect Saturday, as well as other changes that have already been made to Florida law. They say now is the time to rise. Oh, a few days before Independence Day, these protesters say freedom in Florida is in question. Floridians across the state woke up a little less free today. The Freedom March and People's Gathering in St. Petersburg was intended to fight back against Florida's new immigration law, which cuts social services for undocumented immigrants and creates harsher penalties for knowingly transporting or hiring those without proper paperwork. The incentives to come illegally in Florida have been dealt with. Another new law in effect Saturday bans the use of a publicly owned bathroom or locker room that does not align with a person's sex at birth. A woman should not be in a locker room having to worry about someone from the opposite sex being in their locker room. Is everyone angry? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But are we ready to do something about it? Activists we spoke with Saturday say these laws, as well as abortion restrictions, are taking freedoms away. Since it is uh, July 4th weekend, um, a lot of folks are thinking towards independence, and yet we've had a number of laws come down that erode and attack our freedoms as Floridians. This event in St. Petersburg was a part of statewide Freedom for All protests. Reporting in Pinellas County, I'm Stacey De Silva, 8 on your side.